Good morning, this is your media report for Monday, July 21st, 2014. I'm Sergeant Jay Henderson, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. This video is going to outline newsworthy events that transpired over the weekend from Friday, July 18th, up until this morning at 6 a.m. We ask and encourage anyone that may have information that can assist us in any of our investigations to please contact us by phone at 506-648-3333 at our email, police at stjohn.ca, or if you wish to do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers by telephone at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website, crimemb.ca. To recap the weekend's calls, Friday the St. John Police Force responded to 129 calls for service. On Friday at 9.27 at a.m., we received a mischief complaint from a homeowner that resides on Kennedy Street in the north end of St. John. This complainant advised police that their upstairs dining room window had been shot out sometime over Thursday night into early Friday morning. Our north end patrol unit is currently investigating this matter. At 11.52 a.m., we responded to the report of a home invasion that occurred on Rodney Street West, St. John. The report suggests that three males, all dressed in black, entered this house with a weapon and stole a Sony PlayStation 3, and then they all fled from the scene. The persons involved in this altercation are all believed to know one another, and it appears to be an isolated event. At 6.30 p.m. to update, we have made an arrest of an 18-year-old male into this robbery. He is currently in police custody and is expected to make a provincial court appearance sometime today or tomorrow facing the approved criminal charges as our major crime unit continues to investigate this incident. On Friday evening at 6.27 p.m. we responded to an unruly male patient who was at the St. John Regional Hospital. This male had barricaded himself inside his hospital room and was attempting to smash out the exterior window. Several officers attempted to speak to this aggressive male but failed to calm his behavior down. It was then decided that this male needed to be restrained and in doing so one of our officers was assaulted with a piece of furniture and received a head injury which was treated to by the emergency, emergency staff at this hospital. This male suspect was restrained without injury and our officer was treated and later released. On Friday night at 9.05 p.m., we responded to the report of a robbery that occurred on Patterson Street in the north end of St. John. A male was reporting to police that he was assaulted and money was demanded by the assaulter. The males are believed to know one another and this incident is not considered to be a random act of violence. Our major crime unit is looking into this matter. On Saturday, we responded to 108 calls for service. At 1 a.m. early Saturday morning, we arrested a 29-year-old male who was wanted by our department in connection with a serious assault that took place last Wednesday night at an apartment off of Crown Street in Uptown St. John. This 21-year-old female victim in this case received facial injuries as a result of this assault. This male has been held in police custody facing charges of assault with a weapon and also violating a court-ordered undertaking from a previous matter. He is expected to make a provincial court appearance later today to answer to the approved criminal charges. At 6.35 a.m. on Saturday morning, we responded to the report of a break, a break and enter in progress at a residence off of Old Black River Road in East St. John. It was reported that three males, all dressed in black, entered this home and were in the process of stealing items when the homeowner heard a noise and seen these males inside their home. The homeowner then chased these three males from the house. Our forensic identification unit, our canine unit, major crime unit, as well as patrol division, we're all called to assist in this investigation. It is currently ongoing with our major crime unit in full charge. At 7.33 a.m. we responded to a break and enter at a residence off of Douglas Avenue in the north end of St. John. It was reported that a wallet and a 2008 Subaru Impreza were stolen from this address sometime over Friday night between 9 p.m. and early Saturday morning before 6 a.m. This vehicle was later recovered near the Black River Road where the previous incident was reported. Our major crime unit is currently investigating this incident. On Sunday, we responded to 93 calls for service. At 10.30 a.m., a 61-year-old a male was arrested at the Cathedral Church off of Waterloo Street where the church, when the church service was underway. This male was causing a disturbance by yelling profanities inside the church and was found to have offended the congregation. 
The 61-year-old male was also arrested for a similar act the night before at a liquor store in Uptown St. John. He was released on that incident on conditions and therefore was held on this current matter, expecting to make a provincial court appearance sometime today, facing two counts of causing a disturbance. At 2.44 p.m. yesterday afternoon, we arrested a 26-year-old male who was wanted on a Canada-wide warrant for a parole suspension at a grocery store off of Rossi Avenue in East St. John. This male, while being searched, was found in possession of a large knife, which was concealed, and also a quantity of marijuana. He has subsequently been charged with carrying a concealed weapon and the drug possession and remains in police custody facing the new criminal charges. At 3.20 p.m. yesterday afternoon, we arrested a 21-year-old male for assault causing bodily harm after an incident that took place in Brunswick Square on Saturday involving a 24-year-old male victim which required hospitalization with non-life-threatening injuries. This male suspect was released on conditions which include a provincial court appearance of September 29, 2014 to answer to the approved criminal charges. And lastly to report, at 3.31 p.m. yesterday afternoon, a 49-year-old male was arrested on Waterloo Street in possession of a quantity of marijuana after police received a report of a male who was passed out and intoxicated in a parking lot of a local coffee shop. He was held in police custody until sober and later released with a provincial court appearance of September 8, 2014 to answer to the approved charge of illegal drug possession. And this will end your media report for Monday, July 21st. Have a great day and be safe.